Hello, welcome to my 7 Simul tutorial. This is the method I've been working on with B. Paul and Tommy Cherry. Although Lan Shi Zhang did invent a similar method independently of us, but we didn't know that. So for my memo, I do it kind of like blind, where I use letter pairs and form words out of them. I also use X2 flips instead of Y2 flips for memo, just because they're faster and better. So with that being st said, let's start. So for the first pair, the initial letter is C minus D. So one or A. And then the second part of the first part of the memo is DR minus R, so three. And then you visualize where this clock would go with three added to it. So it'd be at seven, not four. So then you do U minus L, so seven minus eight, negative one. So that first pair, the first part was one, which is A, and the second part was negative one, which is K. So my word I'd memorize would be ache. And for the second pair, the first part is L minus U, so D. And then the second part is D minus R, which is negative four. So that would be H. Now for this, it's kind of weird because the second thing you memorize is actually the first part of your pair. So instead of being DH, you memo HD, so hide, for example. So now the hardest calculation, and this is actually what makes the optimal pin transitions possible by memorizing this. It's essentially the AUF on both sides. So the first part is UR minus U, so six. You'd visualize where C is gonna go with six added to it, so it'd be at three. So then C minus D, so three minus six, so negative three. And you'd visualize where L is, so it would actually be at seven. So seven minus four, which is three. And then you'd add three to here, R. For two. So that's the first part of the final part of the memo, a lot, so B. And then you do U minus C, so negative four. And then visualize where that would make D go, so it would go to three. So you'd visualize where UL would go with three added to it, so it would go to one, and then you s subtract this from it. So one minus eight is negative seven, which is the same as five. And then you'd visualize where dr would go with five added to it, and it would go to 12. So 12 minus 10 is two, so b. So that whole last pair was bb, so you could use bob, for example, as your word. Once you've got memo done, you're done with the hardest part of this method, and then it's just on to execution. So you start with all pins except DL up. And just by the way, the way my pairs is organized is that the initial letter is what you execute on the left side, and the final letter is what you execute on the right side. It'll make sense once we start getting into it. So the first pair was ache. A, K, so I'd execute plus one here on the left side and minus one on the right side. So then time for my second pair, which was hide. So H, which is negative four, and then D, which is plus four. Notice how you actually didn't need to memorize the D because it's intuitive. It'll always match to this clock, but I just memorize it to maintain fluidity in my solves and consistency in my memo. The next move is completely intuitive. You're just matching UL to these two, which you can do with this style, and match C to those three.
Next, we have our final pair that we memoed, uh, BB, Bob, so plus two, plus two. And now we're done with what we've memoed. The rest of the solve is entirely intuitive. So now we're matching to D. So you match this two by two to D and match this corner to D. Then we're matching to R. So we can match this two by three to R and DR to R. And then we just finish and solve the 12. Thanks for watching my video and I hope that you found it useful. I hope to make more videos like this in the future, going over new things we figure out about 7simul. This method is still very much in development and it has a lot of potential. This is just one pin order of hundreds, if not thousands, worth looking into. So there's a lot to be explored. Bye.